All right, and we are back. <laughs> How did that go? Where uh, are we? The, uh, the podcast is rolling once again. We don't know when we start. We're not sure when we end, but we're making it uh, the best we can in the middle. Uh, on my right, we're going to start out by introducing everybody. Uh, 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 Corbin. Uh, Hello. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> well, I'm trying to I'm trying to work on my hostmanship. Uh, trying to get I'm seeing Toledo, who's been helping us out with the producing, just diving into pizza. But no, go for it. I, I'm not telling you to stop. It's just that's Corbin's job. It's part of that. That's what he's known for as the pizza biter. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Joe, uh, Joe is uh, d- directly to my right. That's me. Hello. And uh, then we move over to Adonis, already on the iPad, looking things up. We're not sure what, <laughs> and we're not going to share that with Don't anyone. Don't turn that screen. And and already <laughs> prepping a sarcastic <laughs> remark. Zach. Zach. Self. There he is. And that. then we go across the studio to the one and only Donnie. He's magical and not saying anything, just making a (laughs) sitcom opening pose. (laughs) And, of course, Justin. Good evening. There he is. What was that? Uh, Alfred Hitchcock? I think so. Oh, the the Hall of Justin just got mysterious. I keep forgetting to refer to uh, Donnie as the Legion of Doom, the (laughs) Legion of Donnie. By the way, I have some stuff. Uh, I wasn't going to bring this out already, but I have some decorations, some set decorations. Oh, my God. Uh, God. Yeah. Ooh, here's one thing. Uh, (laughs) How do we say it? Mr. Mitzel Spitlick. Mitzel Spitlick. (laughs) Uh, who we are now voicing as uh, I, I can't believe it and I couldn't think of my own name <laughs> and how would I say it three times if whatever okay <laughs> that's how he would actually do it right he's like and now I'm playing with dolls and <laughs> but it gets better uh, uh, I, I don't know I don't want to bring everything out at once but I'm oh really excited God. about this is a real pile I oh, saw like this a little bit. for the hall of Justin oh. nothing's going to beat Zan and Jaina uh, with a little bit of gleek. Uh, so, uh, I love them. We'll get to some more. I'm just going to put them. This in. is a true Corbining moment. <laughs> I wanted to buy like two or three, mm-hmm. but I ended up getting about 50. Uh, <laughs> maybe not 50, maybe 100. He was texting me and Brutal. he told me that the list that he was narrowing it down from was 30. Yeah, Whoa. it was yeah, cuz I I went I went in trying to get 3 or 4 and then all of a sudden I looked at my list, but there were so many interesting things. That's I how did they I, that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. Did they I've offer never... it to you for 100 bucks and you said, "No, I'll give it to you for 200." <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I made it bigger like Apache Chief Binnick Chuck. I mean, I've got the sayings down, guys. Uh, look at this. Samurai. Oh, my and then he would turn oh, in. And, it, so I've got, and then I, Juliet got me into the Flash. She's got, I got the Flash going. Look how fast he looks. Did you steal oh, these from um, Robot, Robot Chicken? Chicken? No. Yep. No, do they have those? Do they? Have, well, these aren't the Mego the ones. Design, these right. aren't Mego. These are like replicas. Mama. So they're they're less expensive. Uh, I could use that. But we're gonna yeah you, yeah yeah. yeah. Six hundred bucks. <laughs> Seven hundred. Seven hundred bucks. Did I see this one in a different color in the other room? Uh, well, that was Scooby Dumb. This is Scooby Doo. You remember Scooby Dumb? <laughs> I don't. I accidentally. I, I did. I Corbin did. I accidentally bought Scooby Dumb, <laughs> thinking I bought Scooby. But this is scared Scooby Doo. This is uh, the variant. Yeah. (laughs) I have, uh, I think I have, maybe Shaggy's not with me right now. I don't, I, I, Batman either. Oh, Uh, this is excellent. I didn't see this one. Here it is. Zoinks like Hey Scoob. (laughs) Like I didn't know Adonis did such a great Scooby Doo. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) That was excellent. Like that's better than yours, Frank. (laughs) Okay. That was good. Uh, Fantastic. So, a lot of that going around. A little bit. We'll get it. Yeah. There is Plastic Man. He's got a, a lever on the back back of them i'm not sure what it it doesn't work that <laughs> way um but we're uh gonna, so uh <laughs> i gotta solve it i thought it was I didn't, so awkward <laughs> why is that awkward no the the movement yeah. oh the awkward yeah. okay Wait, let's, let's his movement like 
No, but these I'm are going to some of these are going to be placed around uh, Donnie and Justin because we have the Hall of Justin and the Legion of Donnie. Uh, uh, don't Lex we lose Donnie enough? We're going to give him dolls. No, I, I, I want to play with them. Actually. I know you do. <laughs> exactly. That's my point exactly. exactly. I'm going to bring Juggernaut and Magneto next week. And yeah, no, we'll they can't be in the Legion that's of Donnie. Us. Well, that's, the Legion that's... of Donnie has people such as Lex Luthor. Uh, the scarecrow. <laughs> I don't really do a scarecrow, but it's not that hard. Uh, for a little sex appeal, cheetah. <laughs> That's as close as I can come to that. Yeah, I can't wait to hear Wonder Woman too. What Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman's going to make an appearance. I have Supergirl up here, and the only reason I bought Supergirl was because I did own Supergirl as a kid, and I thought I got to get another one of these. There you go. I look at her weird flesh tone leggings. I know. Yeah, I was are those looking leggings? at that the entire time? I was like. Why? Really? Like what color? Filled. Like what colors underneath that? Like do these she have weird colored legs? Is it something? like they live or something? I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't they just use her legs? Right. Exactly. Don't they do it with Plastic Man right. or I mean, Samurai? See, that's the way women are treated differently in Double 70s standard. superhero doll. You gotta cover those ankles up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we can't show real skin. <laughs> Maybe she has like an interview afterwards. <laughs> like, like, yeah, that, those are the they. they there it is. So. That's the hosiery. <laughs> All right. So uh, last week, uh, when we were busy saving the universe, we uh, uh, some people let me know that uh, they really like some certain segments. None of them were Zach's. And I'm just trying You're to welcome. keep you awake. I'm just trying to keep you awake. I know, where were you wandering off to there? No, oh, I, I was uh, trying to stare at uh, the Supergirl action figure. Oh, okay. Up here. All right. Yeah. Like that's new. Yeah. That's uh, it's brand what. I'm the screen? Yeah, the new, oh, the, the screen. The you screen. didn't know the screens. Yeah. yeah. So for the people at home, don't realize, I, I try to upgrade the studio for us every week. So producers are sending us information all the time now so we can try and know what we're talking about as opposed to just making everything up <laughs> and then the next week fixing it. Yep. So we have stuff coming up uh, in front of us all the time, and we have five people at a table that all have ADHD. So... That's, if we didn't, we do now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but Adonis's, uh, Adonis's segment really hit last week uh, with uh, talking about the heroes and the, the whole the whole race issue type of thing. And uh, you had a uh, one other black person, but two, three white guys and two over there that were kind of like, we never thought of that. So um, uh, pretty cool for us uh, to, to learn something like that. Um, we were also... Uh, this was one thing when I was listening back, Donnie, I'm still trying to figure out how did, how were you, cause we cut you off, which we never should do, but it, 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 it happens. Yeah. Um, how were you going to tie the 94 baseball strike <laughs> into autograph seekers at comic book conventions? Well, it's, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even you are flustered. Well, I heard the baseball players like kids were like, "Oh, will you sign my baseball?" And the and the baseball player be like, "Yeah, for twenty dollars." They were on strike. I mean, I was guessing that's how they're trying to make their money. But comic artists will charge twenty dollars to sign a, a any a, a book, but when it's a special key book, they want more. Right, and but the thing, so you're comparing that you were going to compare multi-millionaire um, baseball players. <laughs> Would that have a union, right? Yeah. Uh, a the baseball players union uh, with comic book artists at a convention. Well, I'm sorry, you're just repeating yourself. I was just thinking. Of, <laughs> I was just thinking of a time in my life when when uh, people were actually asking for money for an autograph. Then, and I just remember, you know, usually watching movies. You know, oh, let me sign. I'll sign that for you, kid. You know, and throw it back back at him. But even if it's an adult, I'll sign that for you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult. No, you're not. Oh boy. <laughs> It's for my son, but yeah. It's for so Donnie. Let me say. Let's say, and I feel like you're on the way to becoming this. Uh, uh, not just a local hero, but a a national icon. You're just gonna give that those signatures away for free, or are you charging? No, I I I love my fans. They're free. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Write that one All down. right. Uh, yeah. Hello, let's, let's podcast yeah, listeners. listeners. Like, can you guys isolate that for us? We're gonna play. We're gonna be playing that back at a certain time. <laughs> um. All right, so let's let's. Uh, I, you really think you're going to? Donnie loves uh, his fans. Unless I start to get writer's cramp, then yeah, maybe I don't know. I have to call it. Oh, writer's cramp a convenience is a... fee or something. I don't All, know. Right. <laughs> All right, so uh, coming up uh, this week, actually uh, later in the week, I'm going to Philadelphia. I'm going to be uh, performing on the road, doing a place called Parks Casino and Ocean Casino in Atlantic City. Parks is in uh, 
in Philadelphia. I'm going to be showing up with the Fireside Chat guys uh, at Fireside Crew uh, on Twitter and some of their various social media handles. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. They're going to actually come to that casino in Philadelphia and set up their full podcast. One of the guys works at Apple, which is pretty cool. So oh, he's got they a, do? a whole bunch of tech. They're a company that uh, sells fruit. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, well, why Fireside would you call Chat. Apple? I get it. I think they're talking about Apple. Yeah. Some what? fruit company. Oh, sorry. Well, it's good to pay attention <laughs> the whole show. <laughs> this is, is going to lead me into something. I, 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 want, I got sidetracked with the dolls a little bit, but <laughs> how many times have I said that? They're called action figures? <laughs> <laughs> no, these are dolls. These are they're, they're, <laughs> very much action dolls. figures uh, wouldn't have the, the polyester clothing on them. I don't believe. <laughs> they do seem very soft for action uh, figures. Uh, <laughs> So, <laughs> what I wanted to originally get into was this, because I have never felt older and less hip in my life than when I got on this platform we use to communicate with each other called Slack. Oh. Because we got off the group texting uh, for the simple reason that people were constantly texting each other pictures gifs gifs what do you mean by people? gifs you mean adonis <laughs> he was just like what do you <laughs> mean you people <laughs> <laughs> I was on the and we're back in the 70s on the archie bunker show that was right out of archie bunker uh I, no there there yes adonis um yeah. i don't know sometimes i i'll ask a question and i'll get a gif answer and i'm not even sure and then i'll get like the dark uh, fist. <laughs> that, I'm not that, sure if that's, that's good that's or bad. Fair. I don't. The, the, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm supposed to come back with the super white okay. <laughs> oh, hey there, fella. <laughs> I, 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 I. But you have so. Then you'll send. Can I tell them that my my faux pas? Absolutely. So the people. I'm embarrassed about this, but I want you to see that it's time to make fun of me being an idiot too. Some everybody be careful with everything. <laughs> um, <laughs> Something just crashed oh, in the no. back. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. was, oh, is that your iPad that went down? Because we just oh. lost communication. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> it's over. So I text. I just started texting random. And don't get ahead of me on this. Okay. So uh, what people don't know first, but not everybody knows. Uh, I'll reset this a little bit. Is that Adonis is uh, going to, he has a tumor uh, on his brain. And he's got he's great great spirits about everything. He's going to have an operation in a couple of months, and um, and, and you, you, you generally we don't joke about it, but you're good and you under you understand um, life and how it's all working. Mm -hmm. um, so I t I start texting a bunch of random emojis. One was like sad face, uh, winky face, something like that, <laughs> and then being the brilliant fella that I am, I uh, just picking randomly. <laughs> I texted him the picture of the guy with his brain disattached, detached oh. from his head. And I was like, oh, boy. <laughs> and I, d I waited a couple of seconds because I didn't get anything back from Adonis. And I was like, he hates me. And I said, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I, I was just trying to text randomly. And that's what came out. He's like, oh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Did, 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 did you get any kind of offended to it or anything? Absolutely I'm, not. No. I just so first off, that's not a detached brain. It's okay, his brain blowing up. Okay, which is much better. <laughs> of course, um, <laughs> and spirits. you know that's why I send back the black power fist. Oh, is that right on, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> so just to be clear, I couldn't send that fist. It's just, you can send Hulk fist. I mean, I it exists in your That's phone. True. Yeah, it does. It does. Just yeah. some setup. Yeah, let, why, why don't you try it? I'll send it out next. Try time. that one. There's a few <laughs> shades to choose from. Oh, good, good. Yes, don't do yeah. it to this group of people, though. Do it outside of this group. <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't really like surprise it. somebody. Just put it on our Facebook page. <laughs> Zoinks like, hey, Scoob. <laughs> like, what happened to Zach? <laughs> 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 like, exactly. <laughs> like, we never knew him. <laughs> <laughs> and the dolls have already come into play. You're welcome. Oh, love it. By the way, I did uh, get Vitruvius as well. So anytime yes, I, I he, saw that. He's up there on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes. Realizing we might be playing Duck Hunt later. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you need some direction, we're here to go. So uh, let's let's get right into uh, because people are clamoring for this. They truly are. Uh, 
the rant. Look at Donnie. Uh, Donnie's warming up. <laughs> no, no, he's no. heating up. He's sharpening his. Ready. He's Wolverine sharpening claws. his <laughs> and skills and, and his skills. ranting skills. Some might call it a rant. Some might call it fun facts. <laughs> we call it Donnie. <laughs> On another segment of Donnie. <laughs> Wait, I just set that up. You don't have to. Set that up. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Donner. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to I want to talk about a real good invest, a uh, real good comic that it has been nothing but an investment. In a, a lot of comics I've had just uh, sit. Uh, you know, they don't go up or down. They just sit. Some, yeah, unfortunately, do go down. But what I'm getting at is a uh, Incredible Hulk 181. I bought this comic 14 years ago on eBay for $550 then. Uh, 9.4 was actually going for 1400 Today it goes for $10,000. Oh, sorry, my breath. Anyways, let me get relaxed here. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I bought it I bought it on eBay for $550. Sent it out to... Oh, make sure it has the val, uh, the Marvel value stamp. It's uh, she, Sheila the something I can't even remember. But uh, if it's cut out, your book's like literally worth half. But uh, I sent it out to CGC to get graded. It got graded at 8.0, uh, which was which is good. Uh, and, uh, and for everybody who doesn't know what grading is oh, in our audience. Yes, I'm sorry. Um, 8.0 is actually a very fine. It starts with a 0.5, then it goes a, a 1, then a 1.5, a 1.8, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. Go through all of them, so, would you yeah, please? Good. So on, yeah. Until you hit 9.0. <laughs> Then it goes 9.2, 9.4, 9.6, 9.8 is what you want. But anyways, 9.8. You can't get a 10? You can't, They don't exist. Actually, the highest one is a 9.9, <laughs> and it sold for $150,000. Oh, of this so Hulk. Of, yeah, of this it, could, it could potentially yeah. exist. You just, no, none of them found. It's not on, yeah, it's not on the census. At gotcha. Least. But, uh, yeah, so anyways, uh, it's it's gone up, like, literally every year it would go up around $200 for me. And, uh. 2010 i decided to look at it it was going for about 1100 and then i i was gonna i was looking oh man i gotta get an engagement ring this is 2016 it was going for 1800 dollars. and then uh i don't know what happened i was eyeing i was eyeing the walking dead so i skipped 2000s uh 16 17 market of where it was at 17 it actually doubled in price. I don't know what happened. The world gone nuts for it. Did the engagement it, ring double in price as well? No, thank God I did not. <laughs> thank God I did not sell it. I, I, right, I got good. a credit card. I would have really been kicking myself in the butt. Yeah, I could. I could buy Almost. three and th- probably three and. T- I don't want to give out the price of. Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't do that, man. That's a bad yeah. idea. No, no, yeah, no. Don't give do. out the price of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> was it oh, more God. than the comic no, book? No, it, it was about a hundred dollars and seventy-five cents. It took every quarter I had, but I finally got that one she wanted in the shoe. <laughs> finally. Oh, but yeah. So, it, okay, go ahead. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> Do you remember your rant part? Yeah, or no. just the setup? No, I'm trying to think what year I'm in here for the price wise. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay. Just get, just go get. Well, anyways, yeah. We, uh, we so got, we kind of got it, what's going on. It with doubled it. in price last year. It went up a thousand dollars because everybody's just jumping on it. It's hmm. actually now the 100 comics just came out. It was that number two, where fi- uh, Amazing Fantasy was 15 with first Spider-Man. That was number one. Mm-hmm. Oh, Incredible Hulk uh, 181 is now number one for this year. Is that, uh, the world's gone nuts for it, and uh, uh, and then it went. Uh, um, oh yeah. So what I want to get back is with CGC is they also do um, cleaning and grading. I was on the fence of doing this, where they where they're literally going to crack open my book again out of the plastic, press it and clean it, and then it's going to get regraded. I was I was a little scared. You know what's going to happen? Actually, it went out. It worked out great. It jumped it up two grades. It's a nine point zero now. Wow. I'm making the comic okay. fifty nine hundred dollars. Ooh. So yeah, j- the comic's it, worth what? Fifty nine hundred dollars now. Corbin will buy it for twenty two thousand bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you want it? It's, you want it? Twenty three thousand. It's worth pressing it's and pressed? grading. It, it costs two hundred dollars to press <laughs> it's and grade. It's <laughs> Beautiful, oh, beautiful. You missed the it's beauty. Exactly. I love that you went with that. <laughs> 
No, that was awesome. So I thought you had a rant. You were angry about this. I thought you were. Uh, oh no, I'm all happy. Yeah, but that's not what you projected. <laughs> no, you had. I, it's a rant. So I thought. I guess I just assumed. I think he's making us all angry. Waiting for <laughs> yeah, I thought this yeah. was going to flip First, at like, some oh, point. Yeah. Yeah. No, did you guys? You guys all thought Something there was a turn. Was worth zero zero Cage dollars. could have done way better in Maybe X movie. Yeah, like, yeah I thought. I thought during the pressing they were you, they were going to ruin it. And then you were going to be out the money. But no, the story kept getting happier. <laughs> the twist really was there was it no really twist. Did. Well, I, I, The I'm, twist is there's gonna, no twist. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be even happier when Disney makes that purchase because, you know, Wolverine and the X-Men aren't going anywhere. So you got, uh, listeners, you know, jump on that comic while you can. Now, it's funny is a... Uh, <laughs> You know, you'd be no. What's funny? Yeah, tell us. Oh, yeah. I, <laughs> tell us what's I wish, funny, Donnie. I wish I had a thing. I'd, I'd show you guys. This is the the comic book itself right here. But today you'll Ooh. you'll get people that'll draw uh, color in that H with the blue pen. You know, all bloodshot Wolverine's eyes, black out a tooth on Hulk, and still people pay like a thousand dollars for the comic. It's but they're like, d- are people hilarious. drawing on it now, or they did no, no, twenty yeah. years it's ago? Twenty okay. years ago, like okay. I'm probably in a dentist office, and then they're like, oh, this is actually worth something. Oh, yeah. But wow. I, I mean, it's just it's just funny these trash copies, and they still go for crazy amounts of money. All right, is that uh, the oh, end of your rant? Donnie? That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> back to you. You give me give me a full on back to you. Back to you. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. Oh, snap. Snap on there. Double snap guns. Ooh, I like Huge. that. All right, so on the show, uh, at least for the what, how many episodes are we? Twenty seven hundred. What episode? I are don't we believe so. I think We're nine. right there. At least. I think this is nine. Uh, is it nine? Yeah. That's it. Uh, that's it. You're not supposed to say it like that. Oh, I mean, it's to be, <laughs> that's it. Wow, like it feels so like it's many. been a little bit more. I would say like really 13, 14. This is exhausting, Corbin. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking a lot out of him. It's He's all aged. the pizza. He's aged oh, a yeah. lot. Oh yeah. So much. Uh, uh, so much Marvel talk and so much DC talk that when this. Umbrella Academy came out, and I had I had never heard of the Umbrella Academy. It's on Netflix for everybody who doesn't know. And Angelique Roche had told me about it at the Ace Comic Con. She does all the interviews uh, for Ace uh, Comic Con. Uh, what do you, what do you call the um, when they sit the, the, the uh, discussion panels? Yeah, the panels. Yeah. She does all the panels with all the big stars, and she works for Marvel. She does a Marvel podcast. And she said, did you know Umbrella Academy was coming out? I said, I had I had no idea. I don't even know what it is. I pretended like I did know it was. Um, <laughs> and then I made uh, my daughter, Juliet, feel bad. And I said, you don't know what Umbrella Company? Uh, umbrella exactly. Company. The electric company. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which I was a part of. <laughs> uh, so had anybody heard? This is the first question I want to know. Had anybody heard of the Umbrella Academy before? I, I, I came across it um, because I'd make sure that I... When I go through the comic book shop, I make sure that I look at the ones that I'm not normally aiming for just to see what else is out there so I can keep balance, basically. Yeah. So I you- think I checked them out. Um, my son is looking into kindergartens right now. I, we, we stumbled across that. <laughs> 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 my, one of my friends actually told me about it because he's a huge Gerard Way fan. So Okay. There, it's all. It's all. All these guys are music people that I used to be in a band with, and he was just like, "This, this is going to be the most exciting thing ever." He was like, "He's so jazzed about it." He's not even really a comic book guy, but he's like super into this show. There you go. So, for for anybody who has not seen it yet, mm-hmm. it's kind of uh, it's a little bit X Men ish, I would say, where the Professor Xavier, uh, it's led by the father. Um, his name, his name's escaping me. Uh, hard. Uh, hard. Grave. Hard Graves. Professor Hardgrave. Yeah, Professor Xavier. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so he, it, 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 the whole story is in October of 1989, uh, 43 women gave birth to children. And the unusual part was that none of those women were pregnant when the day began. <laughs> so these special children, uh, this guy... Uh, comes at, he he collects the children so he Pretty goes and much. buys the children so it's starting out like any just like Professor X and, yes. and, <laughs> and they all have they all have powers and they go go out and you you learn little bits about the powers as the show progresses which I thought was pretty cool how they did that yes mm. I did enjoy that I did enjoy that a lot actually. How did you enjoy that? <laughs> like, oh, that just stopped. I did enjoy it. Was it what? What did you enjoy? Um, I just I like the fact that we were 
not everything was forced in front of your face. And since this is a, uh, a considered more so of an off-brand comic uh, series and, and storyline, that we don't know it, exactly what's going to happen it's not like x-men or avengers or anything like that where we can expect certain things but this everything is pretty much new especially if you um if you don't know like uh, most of us um we're watching all of this and we all have that same feeling like okay what's going to happen and they don't just flush it in your face they don't just push it in your face it's a gradual thing and you're you're learning and growing with them pretty much yeah in sci-fi writing they they do it a lot it's called an information dump where they clue you into everything that's been happening in the story to bring you up to speed. And it's really like advised against doing it. But for some reason, sci-fi writing always kind of has it in the beginning of it. I actually got knocked on my new book from, from somebody because they were like, no, nah, you got to split this up. You've got to divide it out. Mm-hmm. And then this show, they've done such an incredible job of giving you the information as you need it. Right. Yes, very much so. Yeah, because you're seeing how their powers play out little by little, mm-hmm. uh, and you don't understand. Like uh, number number one, as he's known as, mm. is Space Boy. He's also he's a, a monstrosity. He's got a giant chest, and it's hidden the whole time, and you don't know what's what's going on. And that's later revealed. It, it's pretty cool. Um, one of the um, one one of the brothers. He's got a it's a huge dysfunctional family. Pretty it's, much. It's amazing. And that's the that's the kind of thing of how dark it is in terms of that. Like it's pretty as as fantasy like that it is, it's amazing how real in those emotions and that uh that level of this family has some big issues going on. Mm-hmm. That gave me kind of a watchman yeah. vibe. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was thinking. I, it was like if Alan Moore did X Men, mm-hmm. yes. that was the cynical kind of lens that the Umbrella Academy is at. Because you kind of look at it and you're like, is it really that different from X Men? Like this guy, <laughs> Professor X, had a bunch of teenagers in his house, and they maybe weren't considered to be his family. He didn't adopt them, but he was still sending them off to fight people and risk their lives. Mm-hmm. And it's really you start to think about that, and you're like, were their parents cool with that? Like, is that <laughs> mm-hmm. is that somehow okay? Yeah. Donnie? Yeah, um, I'm I'm excited to see Ellen Page. Um, her character, she doesn't know what her, she doesn't have any powers apparently, but uh, I have a feeling she's going to discover them. And if, if you guys, uh, fun fact, know, <laughs> know who Ellen Page is? She played uh, she played uh, Trinity in season season two of the Trailer Park Boys, but then she was an X Men. She played Kitty Pride. She played uh, X Men. Uh, the Last Stand, and then X Men: Days of Future Past. So, yes, mm-hmm. yep. she's she involves my one my one hold back on this. I've loved absolutely everything except for one little thing. When she's in scenes with uh, the kid that does the time traveling, it's number five, right? Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. She is such a better actor that it makes him seem a little rough. Yeah. I was thinking the exact opposite. I thought he was so good that she struggled. Oh. I'm completely lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just seeing what like your reactions more. were. Yeah, I, was I just want to be on the opposite of Joe. I'm going to be the opposite of Joe guy. <laughs> Um, one of the things that uh, the, in episode two, I think it is, they introduce Hazel and Cha Cha, who are two uh, oh, yeah. people coming after time cops. Yeah, they're yeah. basically time cops. Yeah, and uh, Cha Cha is played by Mary J. Blige. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. I like how we're the only ones that are like yes. yes. <laughs> Cha Cha. Let's go. <laughs> Cha cha it up. <laughs> New baby. Um, yes. Right. <laughs> get, get back on track. Remember, uh, I was actually more interested in Cameron Britton. Did you guys? He's the guy who plays Hazel. Mm-hmm. Not interested in, but interested in terms of. <laughs> I like listen, how we clarified. Thank you. Well, yeah. I, uh, he, yeah. He was in Mindhunter. Did you anybody see Mindhunter? I heard it was great. I, and he yeah. plays the spider's web. He, he plays a, a serial killer, and he's incredible in it. I think he was nominated for a, uh, an Emmy. Oh, that's based off the book. And, I, yeah, sorry. And I, I love when you have revelations during the show. <laughs> Corbin, I read the book that the TV show is based off of. Okay. But yeah, it's another story for another How much time. did you put story? <laughs> Speaking of time traveling, I wish we could go back and fix oh. this segment. <laughs> So, uh, so Luther, by the way, who's number one, number one, looks like he should be Eleven's big brother from Stranger Things. Oh. They, their faces, 
that he might as well be an older clone of her. It's Basically, incredible. I now I see that's actually, I kept, as I was watching, I was like, is that her older? <laughs> <laughs> my uh, my my uh, fiance was looking at this and she's like, I like him. He's hot, but he has a stupid looking face. He's hot, but has a stupid looking face. Is that what I she's into? That, I guess so. <laughs> oh, oh, ow. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I get, oh. Maybe she, uh, maybe she time travels and heard the Mary J. Blige talk. <laughs> shot, shot. <laughs> well, I don't know what it is about the guy who played Hazel Cameron Britton, but he has this way of talking mm-hmm. that is so interesting. It's not Forrest Gumpish, but it's in. There's something where he talks in this a way that makes you want to listen to more that yeah, he talks true. about. And I'm listening to him going, God, why why do I know who this guy is? And then I looked it up because I cheat. And he was in Mindhunter, which I found him amazing in as well. So I'm really excited to see what else he's doing. But he, he took this whole thing up. And I really liked it. I was going to watch just a couple of them, like uh, like I said, for everybody to do for this. And then Juliet got involved, and she started watching. And she'd watched five in the first five hours that she had her hands on it. Yep. Then she was taunting me. That, you know, How far are you? I, I, I don't know. I have to work. I have to do things. Doesn't I she don't. School? She, no, she doesn't go anymore. Oh, great. She quit. <laughs> she quit. She joined the Umbrella she Academy. She's, <laughs> she's in. She has the power to make you feel guilty. There you go. So she got in. So I watched the whole thing. And uh, like every series that Juliet watches, she was incredibly mad by the end. Oh. Um, they do leave a lot open throughout the whole show for interpretation, which I think is pretty cool. But then she went and did a bunch of research, and she's like, "You know what's going to happen?" I like, I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so, she, th- th- I'm looking forward to it because I think there's quite a bit that you can find out um, by by looking at the comics. And then I asked her, "Did you read the comics?" She's like, "I want to read the comics." I'm like, "How do you know?" YouTube. So she's already <laughs> YouTube other people telling her about it. Uh-huh. But she had all this information, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm because it leaves you totally waiting for the next one and wondering what's going to happen. I know um, whenever there's like really good shows or something like that that's based off of a comic that I haven't been um, introduced to or saw and just never got into or book that I've heard about and just never dove into. As soon as I'm into the show and I'm watching it, then I definitely like with a... Uh, Battle Angel, I'm reading the manga with Deadly Class, I'm reading it digitally. Umbrella Academy, I'm going to read it digitally. So So you wait till something's cool before you get into it? You're like the anti-hipster? Uh, pretty much, yes. <laughs> you need to tell me what I need to do next. <laughs> tell me what's cool. <laughs> Somebody, please. I feel well, that. the basic premise of the show is that the apocalypse is going to happen. And you find that out from number five, who's time traveling. And he's going to search out exactly what happened and why and try to stop it he's trying to change it hazel and cha-cha are trying to stop him because they keep the time space continuum the way it's supposed to be so i believe jfk wasn't even assassinated in that show's timeline i think somebody had told me that i don't know if that's true oh. but for the course of this mm. we're gonna say it is it could. i don't i had heard that three times and probably from the same person juliet oh. so i just take <laughs> everything she says um With that in mind, and the time travel that happens in the movie, we thought we'd go off on uh, a little bit of a tangent here. And our Mark V for this week, uh, of course, uh, me doing a Robert Downey Jr. for no reason. (laughs) Uh, We're going to do top five time travel movies. Now, it doesn't have to be tied to a superhero, and uh, it doesn't have to be... It can be just any type of time travel. And last week, we went around the room and did everything. We realized that... 4,700 entries is not the way to go. Uh, we haven't heard from Justin at all today. Justin, you did you did a top five time travel? All right. What? Let's hear your top five uh, time travel. I'm doing that like Letterman. And now, uh, kids, uh, wake the dog. Uh, be ready to, to get your flux capacitor fluxing uh, because we're going to go back in time <laughs> at the Hall of Justin. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Thanks, Paul. No problem, Dan. You got it. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Is there Ed McMahon on there? Oh, no, that's no, McMahon. that's Johnny Carson. But I'm guessing you do an Ed McMahon, which is why you brought it up. No. Okay. All right. Uh, number five for me, I would say, and it's a kind of a stretch, but Interstellar with Matthew McConaughey. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. I, I take that for time. Yeah. Black holes and all that fun stuff. Mm-hmm. 
he gets to go back and see his daughter. So I would put that at my solid five um, mark. Christopher Nolan did a great job on that movie. Hmm. Okay, four? For number four, I am going to re- throw it back to Days of Future Past with X-Men. I saw that on a lot of lists. A lot of people um, had Days of Future Past on really, their list. It's really hard to do, in my opinion, based on the comic book, to getting a linear movie. Um, and so I, uh, I really thought that was worthy of, uh, of at least top five, number my number four. Donnie, Donnie raised the claw. Did, uh, yeah, you, they, uh, they, uh, that movie fixed what uh, The Last Stand messed up, you know, killing uh, off all the characters. Pretty much. And Wolverine uh, told Xavier, you know, uh, what's going on. And Xavier told him, don't worry, Wolverine gets up at, uh, in the present. And there's Storm, there's Jean Grey, there's Cyclops, and they're still headbutting. Oh, it was just... That was nice. It was a tear. That movie was like, great because oh. it was like yeah. it was a retcon for yeah. what they wanted to fix, and mm-hmm. Hollywood was getting better at retconning things, in my opinion. So I thought that was a great retcon type of movie. Mm-hmm. Okay, number Donnie, three. Did they follow the script on it? What's that? <laughs> they follow the script? <laughs> no. Well, they could have did better on the Sentinels, honestly. Uh, I like the way they looked in the future, though. That Ooh, was kind of fun. Creepy. Uh, I wanted the old purple, like halt, mutant, mutant identified. You know how they talk uh, in yep. the cartoon. But I feel that. Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justin, <laughs> number three, Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Whoa! Party on! <laughs> Look at that. It definitely deserves uh, our appreciation and admiration. Who all had Who all had Bill and Ted's on there? I did. Quite a few people. Yeah. Uh, you, if a kid doesn't like history, just make them watch that movie, and they'll be good to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or listen, we didn't start the fire. That's good to go. And uh, George Carlin. Rufus! <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> What's going on? I'm going to say a bunch of swear words now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're at two? Number two would be T2, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Mm. And Donnie, give us your best Arnold. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> T two, all right. T two, definitely. I mean, that was uh, that was a great film in the '90s that just kind of set the tone for scary robots in a in an apocalyptic future. Mm-hmm. It's been copied so many times, and, and the formula is held true. We still enjoy it today. So, and the number one uh, uh, in the Hall of Justin uh, time travel movie. It's no brainer. Back to the Future. Back to the Future. <laughs> this thing hits eighty eight miles per hour. You're going to see some serious stuff. <laughs> you mean to tell me you built a time machine what? out of a DeLorean dock? <laughs> <laughs> this is heavy. No, no, this sucker's electrical. Um, I want to make note of this on Donnie's list. Um, which I, I'm not. Donnie had Back to the Future 2 and Back to the Future 3, boy. but yeah. not Back to the Future 1. Uh, no. It was okay. Back to the Future 2 Donnie. is fun. Like, oh, I want a hoverboard, or you put a little pizza in the oven, and it turns out, you know, big. It was it was cool to me, just not to have your, not to have your mom, like, hit on you and everything like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when that happens. It's the familial making out that gets no, him. No attention. She's uh, Leah Thompson. Oh, very hot. Don't but, you guys yeah. just hate when that happens? Like, when you make out with your mom? I like how that's yeah. what you were focused on. <laughs> yeah. This, this well, is what knocked then, it out of first place. Or then, out of the top five list at all. And then number three, that was a great Western movie right there anyways. You know, like, what's your name? Clint Eastwood. What kind of stupid name is Clint Eastwood? You know? But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I just this like I just we all like, I, I know I love when it dies down on yeah. Donnie and it's just quiet for a second. Everybody else, it feels awkward. When it's quiet on Donnie, it feels right. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just processing. listening intently. I have just, you worked? I find it to be valuable. Have you worked on your impression? Because that you know at the end of everything really catches me. Uh, the, the you know. <laughs> I, mean, I guess you probably need some other things to say before you get to it, and then I in. Back to the Future 1 kind of scared me because um, there was a, a potential mom makeout scene. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not what you want to see, you know. <laughs> you know, it gets you, man. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to get uh, uh, somebody, fr- one from each uh, person's list. Let's hear uh, something that you, uh, that you didn't hear that was on uh, Justin's. Uh, I used Batman Ninja. I, didn't even, I don't even know what that is. Wow. Is it animated? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is it allowed to be animated? Yeah. It can be whatever ask, you want. It can but... be whatever you want. I'm waiting for I was waiting on Adonis's list. I was waiting for a European vacation. What? It's a time. It's set in a time and it's a travel movie. <laughs> it's set in a time. It's a travel Just movie. Just like a super down. 
hero. Um, yeah, my number one was Idiocracy. It's a great movie. Hmm. That's good. There's time travel in that. I, yes. You know what? I was trying to think. I guess he goes to the future, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. I didn't even think of that after. as a time travel. When Adonis forward. sent it's not me, just like a uh, post-apocalyptic kind of documentary. Yep. When yeah. I when, when Adonis sent me his list, and. Uh, I, I immediately sent it to a couple of people who go, Adonis never fails. I, go, <laughs> I knew this was not going to be right down the middle. I knew this was going to be totally have some odd ones on it mm-hmm. and some some deep thought and some were going to question his sanity on. <laughs> and uh, and I was waiting. Zach, Zach never sent me one, but I was waiting for, because uh, you were busy this week. It's uh, it's under, you, Did you send I, me one? I thought I was supposed to send it to uh, Toledo. Oh, maybe so. did you send it to Toledo? Okay, cool. I then I, yeah. then maybe, I maybe we could go, see. again, we could use the time travel um, tool. If I can go back and go back in time <laughs> and then re- send it to me as well um so i i always assume yours are going to have many like just joke answers this is <laughs> so uh you know i as i put typed in the list to toledo uh there were a couple where in parentheses i just said does this count <laughs> right, okay <laughs> so. well, that's and, and we had we had discussed i discussed with a couple of people about hey what is time travel i go let's not let's let's let it be because a memento came up by some people and uh mm. there were a, a few things but so what was you can give me two i just like to find out what people were thinking in terms of weird what what was in what terms, were you questioning in ter- what are the question um big was one that i questioned Okay. I put it on there. Big. I really like big. I mean, he gets older, but but he doesn't um, really travel in time. He just ages. He ages. He ages. Right. So, so he goes. He travels in time, body wise. His body travels. Forward. His body travels yeah. pretty much forward. The body travel. I don't think that counts. All right. Well, um, <laughs> go for one. My list has failed. There it is. No, uh, <laughs> what about Field of Dreams? What the no. baseball movie? Yes, the baseball movie. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, what, what, uh, that was almost Donnie-ish. Wait no, a second. No. no, they come out of a field and they're I, all... He, uh, Shoeless Joe Jackson, I mean, he just took a couple of dollars. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, Why? No. And, and now he's selling Chantix? Whatever happened? <laughs> why, is, why is Shoeless Joe Jackson selling Chantix? What is... He can't stop smoking? <laughs> you know? <laughs> they did not like that. Uh, by the way, no. I love the How guy. Is it not a time travel. Hold on. No. By the way, I what love the guy who plays Ray Liotta in the Chantix commercial. It's not really him. No, no, okay. not a chance. I was, you know, he would never quit smoking. <laughs> wow, I really, I really, I was like, what a comeback! I told my grandma about a couple. <laughs> All right, so well, I mean, uh, uh, can I what? figure out why Field of Dreams <laughs> does not count in this one? This he, he like He's steps in a, into the 1970s. At oh, one he does point. travel. You're right. You're right. He does travel so, in time. I'm with you. Right. Let me ask Thank you. you. Archibald Thank Moonlight you, Graham. Yeah, Is he inc- goes to Doctor uh, Doctor Graham. Yeah. Is Inception a time travel movie? Then? No. Oh, that's a dream travel movie. Okay, but isn't dreams isn't passing of time? Dream Any travel. movie passes time. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. You're not watching a movie. Time. Frozen. Groundhog Day. Travel. First, what is that about? <laughs> Second, would that count? Yes, that counts. Groundhog Day. Yeah, it's the oh, same, 100%. same thing over and over. Who had Was Groundhog that on your list? Day? Who had? Somebody had Groundhog Day. Oh, yeah, Groundhog I saw that movie Day. pop up a lot online. Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Oh, is yeah. it good, though? For time travel? Have you For never time seen travel? Oh, yeah. And there's no. a few other ones I hope before you the segment is, moves on. There's some honorable mentions that need to be brought up for time well, travel. Is too. Groundhog Day a good movie? Did, so does what, anybody feel like they're in Groundhog Day right now? <laughs> I yeah. feel like. Right? So, uh, what you, <laughs> I'm going to pick somebody who has a top five list today. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really and surprised I have, nobody brought up Planet of the Apes. Like, that's a time travel movie. Yeah. yeah. I did have that one on mine. Oh, I wasn't right. sure. If I would have done it, I would have You had that on yours? Yeah, I wasn't the sure. Original. All yeah. yours are not sure, though. That's yeah. why I can't go to you directly. I don't think, I don't think you like time travel dreams. movies. Do you just Maybe. not like... Um, no, I mean, it does it count? I mean, the guy kind of travels in time, but it's more of like a cryogenic oh. freezing, and then you appear in a new time. Like, you're not like pushing a button and then you're in a different time period. Does that... I, I mean, count. What, what uh, really you know counts? what, if, 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 if idiocracy counts, then... That and counts. if I could go back in time, I would stop the Mark Wahlberg Planet of the Apes yeah. from ever happening. I'm so sure Tim Burton would do. <laughs> Tim Burton probably would. Poor He'd, Tim. He'd probably make take a lot of those back. Adonis. Has anybody I, seen Frequency? Hmm. Do you remember that one? The baseball uh, guy? Oh, baseball so he, he plays on, on the radio yeah. and goes yeah. through time? Corbin really cannot handle baseball one for me. I really like that one. Is that like the baseball movie? What's with the baseball movie? Hey, Bull Durham, great um, oh, wow. time travel movie. <laughs> <laughs> and the rookie, the rookie was great. I remember the rookie, he wouldn't sign autographs for anybody. That was... <laughs> 
you guys catch that Tom Cruise one? That's the latest one. That, <laughs> that one, Edge of Tomorrow. That yeah, was a good yeah. one. Yeah. It was marketed. It's like Groundhog it's Day. Really good. It is, Happy it death is day, Groundhog Day. Why not Happy Death Day? Yeah. Happy Death Day. Same Happy Death Day too. Already out in theaters. But yes, Happy Death Day. She wakes back. She gets getting killed and just find out like her killer. She repeats the same day. I'd allow it. You know Thank what? You. Uh, Thank you, Justin. Y- you know what you. movie? A, a, a time travel movie. Every time I see it, I feel like it's just it, it's amazing. Mm. Sound of Music. Just mm. way back. I feel like it's. <laughs> what? I don't know. The way you guys are. <laughs> is that the <laughs> picking anything. Spaceballs the movie. <laughs> Spaceballs the comic book. Yoga. And Spaceballs the doll. You didn't Me. Wait, May the Schwartz be witches. <laughs> and honestly, I put the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie up there. The uh, third one. Ooh. Turtles in Time. Which no. sucked. In Turtles in Time. But they went back <laughs> in so, time. So, so, they had a subheading. That's for you. So, okay. Super powered okay, time so travel. Do you understand the concept of top five? Okay. That was top of my five. It was number, but you it was didn't number, see Groundhog Day and you put it on your list. I didn't put Groundhog Day on my list. You didn't. I put Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Doctor Strange, Terminator 1 and 2, X-Men, and Batman. Batman Ninja was number one. Hmm. Have y'all not seen that? You're missing on the best Super Hill time travel movie. Hmm. It hmm. could belong I'm on it. I'll list, look into but it. not number one. Hmm. Okay, we'll just move on. All right. No, we're not moving on. We're going to do this for 10 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> gonna you're going to wish, you're gonna wish you could time travel, Corbin. <laughs> By, by the end of this segment, you're going to wish I mean, you had a DeLorean. <laughs> and could go, go back, back to the Field of Dreams. Time. I get it. Okay. I mean, I thought we weren't doing everybody's, but we've done everybody's. Well, well we did it in a better way. We did it in a better way. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> it's, sometimes it's about getting there differently. Going around the room takes time in between each one, but we, we got a lot of info and we got a couple of fights. I almost saw the Hulk hands come out. On- <laughs> <laughs> we got close. We got close. The baseball yeah, movie? Some, the, the, what would, what would be, what would be yeah, great if you had Hulk hands? We're calling him CA. Don't forget that. See Wouldn't it be great if you had Hulk hands and uh, like Adonis? Uh, Adonis had Hulk Hogan hands. And you know, <laughs> Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just had big muscles. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something, and but then I was like, wait. Like, what were you? Pause was awkward. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sure we're going to hear about uh, this from people online. They're going to let us know Pretty their much. thoughts on time travel. Destruction. Uh, while we're on the subject of online, let's get uh, a little information from Joe on the mailbag. Uh, he was uh, studiously, studiously looking at it uh, this week. Uh, well, yeah, well, let's. Do you want to do poll results first? Yeah, let's do the poll results. Uh, okay, which probably so, would have been the way to segue into it, but I just forgot. We <laughs> had our like probably our most popular social media post ever with this uh, Steve Carell. Seventeen. Views. Oh, about that. It was really it had eighteen excited. people. No, it had like over eight hundred and sixty votes. Really? Which is okay. pretty crazy. That's awesome. For a baseball movie? For a baseball movie? <laughs> so it was, it was Carell versus Jonah Hill, the follow-up to um, Carell versus DeVito. Mm-hmm. And Carell held it down again, 53% oh. to 47%. Ridiculous. All right. What was the Electoral oh, College? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, and, the, and it's still, you can still vote on it for another couple days. So if you don't think that Carell deserves it, get in there and, and vote. Is, there, is there a time? That, right. do, we, do we put a time on it to, to end it? Or does it just naturally happen? Well, I, it's, I, I, it starts with six days, and I think I'm putting them up on Sundays. Okay. So I'd like to go a couple of days after they are able to hear this. That way people can get on there and, and exactly. cast a vote. It, does, it hasn't changed since in the two that we've done so far, but you know, maybe it will. And, uh, and then I'll tell you about the next poll that later we're going to do right later on in the show. Cool. All right. So now you can do the mailbag. All right. <laughs> mailbag it up. All right. So... Uh, Interestingly enough, the the biggest response we got on social media at all was about the Mark V from last week. Really? Oh. Maybe um, because we spent two hours yeah, complaining yeah, absolutely. about it. Or it was. It, you said response. You didn't it was. Say a, it was a little bit. Of, it was a little bit of complaining. It was a little bit of hey, you forgot this, and then people just want. I mean, I, I asked them for their top fives, and people just wanted to be part of it. So perfect. That's what nice. What I saw mostly was uh, people putting you know repeating ones on there that like I thought were something we i don't know how we missed some of these like uh thor ragnarok mm. i mean that's that's one of the most popular movies so far yeah, yeah. um watchman was mentioned a few times the baseball Watchmen. <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> <laughs> the Zack snyder watch 
That was a baseball watch one. Okay. Um, <laughs> the original Batman. We no, None of us had that on our list. I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, Man of Steel was on somebody's list. Civil War and Winter Soldier. We both did not have those. Can we start knocking people on social Thank, media? That's for a great idea. Man of Steel yeah. on the list. Man uh, of Steel, first really? Off, first off. Like Superman one. Come on. Um, people, people dug that movie. Some um, people. I, I did. The Man of oh, Steel? Oh, that was your list. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Are you sending stuff into a, a our social media as I'm different creating, people? I'm creating different profiles and uh, entering my I'll, information. I'll be doing that to overthrow Carell for this upcoming thing. We're going to get so much more interaction. This is fantastic. You guys go ahead and do that. Um, <laughs> like who's sending in all this stuff? Like it's old man Carruthers. <laughs> <laughs> you said you go ahead. Take the mask off. It's the creepy clown. And the- oh. <laughs> and I would have gotten away from it if it not for you darn kids. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't worth for- <laughs> What I'm just sorry. happened? I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep going. There you go. So <laughs> the other thing that I noticed, so there were always all these odd picks. And I think that a lot of us do that up here, too. So like on Adonis's list, you're always going to see something that just stands out. And it's like, wait a minute. Like, I don't know. Like, but it's his personal favorite. So I saw a lot of those. I, uh, I saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a few times. So you guys... Got a little props there. You're welcome. Um, Howard the Duck was on like three different people's oh, lists. Man. What the, the 70s? I mean, and that's like 80s. considered one of the worst movies uh, of all time. Yeah. Um, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance was on there. Mystery what? Men, was which I actually kind of liked. Missing no. Ghost Rider no. Spirit of Vengeance. No, that, that was the 2000. That was horrible. Sucked. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> which somebody one? loved huh? it. What, what didn't you like? Oh, the baseball body. movie? <laughs> what didn't you like? Let that go. No, not absolutely not. Never. When I can, when I can, segment. when I can pull, when I can latch onto something, haven't you noticed that? <laughs> yeah, just use right. it over and over. Oh, it's gonna... Is this time travel? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And the la- the last one was Superman fo- uh, four, oh. which the quest for peace. The quest for peace. I, I, now <laughs> wait a second. John wait a second. Cryer was great in that movie. Oh my god. John Cryer was great Richard. in that movie. He just said. <laughs> said John Cryer. Wait and he fuck? John Cryer was legitimately <laughs> in that movie. What's the Star Trek where they travel in time? What's the uh, also the quest for peace? (laughs) What's the Star Trek? What's the Star Trek? They they travel in time. What is it? We we must talk to these whales. Star Wars. Whales in time. The 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 Star Wars. Yeah, there you go. Whales in time. (laughs) Anyways, um, I think the biggest takeaway that I got from all that was that. It doesn't have to be a good movie. Like, it doesn't even have to make sense. And people weren't... When I, I asked some people, like, to explain why they picked these odd movies, mm-hmm. and they just they didn't even care to explain it. They were just like, no, it's just my favorite movie. I, I grew up with it, and I love it. I had a exactly. very troubled childhood. Yeah. Oh, it like, got but me that, through it. <laughs> Maybe. Howard the Duck saved me. <laughs> I, was, I, mean, I, I couldn't believe it was three different people's list, but, like... People just latch on to stuff, and and that's that's it, man. I love that they're not apologetic about it. Star anybody, Trek Four: The Voyage Home. How could yeah, I have missed it? Dear God! Sure I <laughs> did anybody bust out the movies that we thought we should have put on when we discussed like Sin City? Like, did that come up? Or I didn't see a Sin City, but Watchmen was one of the ones I think we, you and I discussed that we thought should probably be on somebody's list. Yeah. But definitely not mine. Right? You no, know, you no. hated or you no. loved it. That Maybe it wasn't really you. Really a divisive film for a lot of people. Yeah, I, I loved. I loved the. I loved the storyline. I liked it. I mean, I it's liked... really hard to film that kind of thing. Yeah. So then, just don't do it. Maybe it is the comic. <laughs> Man, they'll never make Lord of the Rings. I tell you. Oh yeah, I think they did. Um, By the way, in the in the image you have up for Star Trek IV: <laughs> the, the Voyage Home uh, on the bottom screen there. Bones could totally be played by Jeff Goldblum in the future. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it, uh, Jim. I'm a, I'm a, a, a doctor. <laughs> Not whatever. Fill in the blank. <laughs> what what is Spock wearing? He he had the pointy ears. I was going to say that too. Do you think he would have to cover the ears in today's world? Like Probably he would, didn't want anybody to see the Vulcan ears. After social media, he's he can represent whoever he wants to represent. <laughs> it's like a futuristic Michelin Man costume. Just a bit. Yeah, yeah, he's Wax. covering his ears, but they're all in future costumes, <laughs> including Admiral James Tikar. <laughs> so that's isn't that just how people dress in the eighties? <laughs> it might be close. They fit right in. Yeah, I yeah. fit right in. Perfect. It's like the Mitchell and Man that went on the keto diet. Stay puffed, maybe. Um, 
so in the rest of the mailbag, we had some great compliments about Adonis's piece from last week. Everybody, everybody loved that. Once again, Aww. Adonis writing in. Uh, that might, <laughs> actually, there was uh, Kristen and Andrea both said that they they loved that we got a little serious and they really dug that cool. piece. Cool. Um, uh, a, a close personal friend of mine, Christopher Otina, said that he absolutely loves Justin's Jim Ross. So we've got to get more of that. Oh. <laughs> That's your cue. You get to use it. Oh, it. God. Somebody give Jim Ross his accolade. <laughs> By the way, I ordered some wrestlers, too, for the, for the table. Yes. I, I really struggled yes. with uh, putting that in the mailbag to talk about it on the show. I was like, I don't really want to encourage that. <laughs> Fuck, it's going to slobber knock I it. But I thought about it. Family. But I thought oh, about good. it. You like, just yeah, woke Justin up. He was asleep um, for I half the show. I think we need a bigger table. <laughs> and then uh, we had several people ask us for a little discussion about Umbrella Academy, which we, we already did. Uh, John Kincaid watched the entire season already, just like Juliet. Oh, man. And, uh, and he also thanked us because he loves the show. Nice. Awesome. We you dropped you. out of school as well. Oh, I've, I've got a bunch of people that have been complimenting me uh, throughout this, uh, throughout the past couple of weeks about the show. They love what we're doing, what we're talking about, um, and they are definitely excited for more. Um, hit us up on social media, at Comic Playground, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Let's get it. That was good. Are yes. they complimenting us too, or just you? Just you. Is, uh, <laughs> pretty much you me, carry. but I'm making sure that everybody's represented. Hey, so. uh, on the you. Adonis show, <laughs> you guys are doing a really great job supporting. <laughs> <laughs> it's really that's great. exactly how it is. It's really great the way you guys can be humorous around Adonis's <laughs> think pieces <laughs> <laughs> that are changing people's lives. Oh, oh and Frank, you do great voices sometimes. <laughs> I get a lot of feedback from my girlfriend, and none of it's good for me oh. it's all adonis adonis's piece was awesome and i really love donnie and zach's so funny and i'm like okay yeah i mean i'm, I'm right there with you i'm just no i'm trash I, she, she was I, I my she likes you just, too she thinks I, frank's hilarious no i'm oh my god it's tense when i watch I'm like oh my god how did i do that did i laugh too loud am i putting on pounds yes, yes. Oh, all yes. those yes. all those oh yes god. check 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 <laughs> It's a joke. Relax. Oh, no, no. It's a nerve wracking experience. You don't understand. When I watched this last episode, my gosh. What he happened? thinks he looks big because he sits next to me. Yeah. I just look. It's like right there. But I'm you're not like, a tiny person. <laughs> no, but. That's you're sitting like, next to the Adam. You might as well be sitting next to this <laughs> mic stand. Ant-Man over here. I'm yeah. like, I know I eat pizza, but like, cheese. Like, like this. But cheese? Che cheese. cheese. <laughs> Double cheese. <laughs> Triple cheese. <laughs> I'm over here nervous. Donnie, Donnie, Donnie was worried. This Donnie, what were you whole. worried about oh, last yeah. week? Uh, I was uh, worried as catching my double chin. Like, I was like, literally, it looked like Job of the Hut. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I, now I got to order Star Wars figures. <laughs> oh, man. he's It's like he's that's melding awesome. into his. Awesome. Yeah, that's I not that's them. not a beanbag. That's your body. <laughs> wear something. Wear if, something that melds into. Holy cow. Oh, we got to get Why the same color. Why does that look so similar? <laughs> it's. It is, it is him, isn't it? Bring oh. me solo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the little guy's name? It's Alicia Scrum. Uh, uh, so Great name, yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. I wish we somebody else would ask that. I'd have been Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I can go over there and sit on his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you should be in chains right in front of that time. <laughs> Ooh. That's a different outfit. There you go, Joe. Yeah, oh, that's gosh. me. That's me right there, actually. Oh, gosh. All right. Picture, you're done. There you go. <laughs> and that's the podcast. Oh, I can be that creepy. I can make that happen. Nobody's questioning. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like that was a compliment. It was. Very much. Yeah, like like the compliments that Adonis has been getting recently. <laughs> like that was only for you. Oh gosh. Oh. All right. So Thanks. that's it from the uh, mailbag. And that's so it from the mailbag. All right. Uh, we're gonna take a second here and. Uh, Near the end of each podcast, we're going to try and branch out a little bit. Uh, Donis has had uh, an idea in his head. He's brought it up uh, and talked about it a couple times, the Game Changers segment. So uh, we're going to go off on a tangent for a second mm -hmm. with an Adonis Game Changer. Hi, I'm Adonis, and <laughs> here are the Game Changers. <laughs> um, no, but in all seriousness, I, I've been thinking about uh, what, when I thought of the term game changer, how these things have interjected into pop culture, into our histories, into our everyday lives, and they changed the course of it. Um, one of the things that I really wanted to touch on, which affected me a lot, um, was the, the Mortal Kombat game uh, series. Um, when it first came out, 1993, 
I remember going to, I believe it was um, Blockbuster Video, and we bought Mortal Kombat. My dad and I got it for Sega, and we sat there and we played it um, all night. <laughs> Sad, sad part is I went to Boys and Girls Club the next day and put it in my locker, went swimming, and someone stole it. Anyway, um, it changed a lot of things. It changed. Uh, it, it influenced the um, the rating system for gaming. Um, it influenced. Uh, there was a lot of uh, mom uprising about the game um, and what it did. I can vouch for that. Yeah, with my mom. Yeah. My mom <laughs> told me I couldn't. I couldn't play it anymore. But then it got stolen. So there's that. Um, you really think it was stolen? You think she took it? <laughs> <laughs> I think we know who stole that Mortal Kombat. No, uh, it's it's it was I, Mom wins. <laughs> pretty <laughs> much <Fatality>. <laughs> No, it, it it changed the way gaming was, how where gaming was uh going uh because all of, uh gaming at that point was still very much so considered um arcades. You go you go to this place, you go play a game and then you go back home and you know, go about your life. And this was the start of uh, home consoles and how they uh, were starting to change who was playing it because the people that were originally at the arcades back in the 80s are now adults and they wanted something a little bit more than just, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. They wanted something a little bit more um, geared towards them. And Mortal Kombat was one of the first that started to do the whole blood and fatalities and ripping people's spines out. And, you know, I mean... Just fun stuff. It, just awesome stuff. Right. <laughs> stuff moms like. Exactly. <laughs> Kid tested, mother approved. <laughs> um, and I, I just loved Mortal Kombat. It, it did so much for me. Um, every time I would go to school and we would, you know, pretend fight, you know, how you did with your friends before class started and things like that, I, I would pretend I was Scorpion and, you know, we would do uppercuts and we'd sit up there and accidentally hurt our each other. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, was but, anybody ever Raiden? And they just, wonder <laughs> why your mom did not want to play this game. I told you from the get-go that I have ADHD. It cannot be helped. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it definitely changed the way we, we thought about, uh, the way society thought about games. There were so many laws and press um, uh, that were um, that were discussed and put into place because they were saying that uh, the way these games, these extra violent games, uh, like Mortal Kombat, um, were um, influencing people to do bad things. Um, it was changing the way they thought about things. They were saying that the connection between um, um, killers and everything like that was because of violent games like this. And I did some research, and they said that um, I, I found a couple of things, but basically, it's still it's still in discussion right now. Um, some uh, a lot of people are saying no, there's no connection, um, and then a lot of people are saying it's still the same thing. But it. It has us talking about it, even still. Mortal Kombat came out in 1993. Mortal Kombat 11 is coming out, and we are still acting like it just came out. It changed the way we thought about fighting games. It changed the way we thought about video games, and it's changing the way we're going forward. All right. I feel like clapping. Whenever yeah, yeah, Donna so finishes one, what is it, Donnie? <laughs> well, hold on. Meanwhile, at the Legion of Donnie. <laughs> No, I was gonna say I I was also into that game very well, uh, very well in that age. Uh, my friend had it on Super. Wait Nintendo. a second, very well in very, that age? Yeah, much. Yeah, uh, and that probably didn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what I'm getting at is my friend had it for the Super Nintendo, and it was censored. Sega Genesis, you had to have the A B A C A B B. Yep. Blood code. Yep. Yeah, mm. and then after that, they went out full out blood. You didn't have to put any code. Oh, Last year yeah, at uh, Game on Expo in AZ, it's a video game convention in yes. town here. Mm -hmm. I uh, they have video games every cabinet you can imagine. And I was playing Mortal Kombat three by this table. I just wasn't cognizant of where I was, and Sonya Blade walked up to me, the woman who was the model for oh. Sonya Blade, because she was there and Johnny Cage was there, and started talking to me. She's like, "Oh yeah, I never looked better." And I look over and I'm like, I realized who they were because like I had seen that they were guests on the panel. But she came over and it was like a really surreal moment. I was playing. Mortal Kombat, as Sonya Blade stood there and like judged me. I'm and did you attack her? her? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I didn't hey, take your twenty bucks. While we're while we're jumping whatever, back in time, board. let's let's do this as well. Uh, Corbin has a segment uh, about going back in time and taking a look. Yeah, you remember it now? <laughs> yes. Don't be surprised when I throw the segment to you that I forgot to do earlier. Sorry. Okay, so um, it's a little thing. We're kind of working out the name of it. This day in comic history, geek history, we'll fine tune it. It'll get better. But I gathered some comic history stuff from this week uh, just to kind of make it a little easier for me. And so this is funny. I talked about, we've talked about, I've tried to, Batman, Frank Miller, Dark Knight for like 
at like three consecutive episodes now. Mm-hmm. This is actually the week where the first issue came out. Ooh. Way back in 1986. Like, how many people around back then? Like, that was 33 years ago. I was around, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, okay, there's the whole panel. Well, anyway. <laughs> you're, you're very young. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Corbin. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just a while back, which I thought was crazy, but I guess it's not. Um, Daredevil Ooh. came out in 1940. Um, a couple of days. No. Well, yeah. 1940? Yeah. The baseball movie? No. <laughs> <laughs> not the Daredevil. Not the Daredevil we know, but... A comic dude. I will look this up. Yeah, this is all legit. I'll send There's you a link. Not, it's not, not, the, not, not Marvel Murdoch. Daredevil. No, it's not all Matt about Murdoch. the New York Daredevils, oh, and they were going against uh, the San Francisco Giants. I'll show I'll, <laughs> Giant Man. I'll clarify, guys. I'm just doing the best I can. <laughs> Domino of Deadpool fame, oh. 1992, a little over a week ago, she was introduced, hmm. and the big one. I thought this was. Also, about the same. So on the tenth of February, uh, this is the 15th. wait a second. Is this this month in yeah. comic history? Okay. Well, I, I said it was this week. Well, I said this week, and then like three of them were this week, and one was like a week and a half out. And All then right, this, this one is- ten days <laughs> in comic book history. <laughs> this five this to seven time. business days. <laughs> <laughs> it's Peggy a leap Carter. Here. Or something. Peggy Carter. Yep. Oh. She was introduced in 1966. Oh, she's older. 53 years. <gasps> nice. Crazy talk. But yeah, integral part of Marvel Universe. Been that long. Thought it was kind of crazy. Those are the few I collected. I'm going to expand more, do some game info, but I didn't want to overwhelm the audience. And no. also, I wanted to Perfect. get the time down, right, nice. for myself. So we'll, we'll get that in there. But yeah. Awesome. And Joe, you made your trip to the comic book store with Ari this week? Ari and I did get to the comic book store this week finally. It was, we were, I was a little sick, so it, we, it took us a little while to get there. But. Um, what we do is every month we, I take Ari, since she was two months old, I, I always wanted to do something, like in those first two months you have your kid, like you're like, oh, I want to do something special, you know, like I want to have like some sort of some tradition with her. So we decided uh, to take her to the comic book store and get her comics. We were in Glendale one night and we we're like, oh, there's a comic book store. Let's just go in and get her comics. And, and you were like, always a huge comic book fan. Yeah, I was, a, I was a big comic book fan when I was a kid. I hadn't collected in years, but... Um, when I saw it, when I saw it, I was like, oh, this is, this will be fun. This will be something I enjoyed it when I was a kid. Maybe she'll enjoy it. And so every month we go get, grab some comics. Uh, we do like a, a Facebook post and a picture of her from that day. And, I uh, will take her down. Oh, I, yeah, you're, you're, you're thinking about it. It's not going to happen though. I think she's going to beat yeah, you, but we'll talk about that in a little me, bit. Crush me. <laughs> um, so what we got this week, uh, this month, I'm listening. I'm missing it here. Hold on one second. While you're looking through that, my tradition with my kids is I look at my phone while they try to play with me. So it's, <laughs> it's, you're doing a lot better than I am. <laughs> okay. So uh, this week we got our two printed short boxes. Do you guys know what these are? The, it's like the coolest way to store your comics. Like they have printed short boxes. We got our Spider Verse one and a DC Bombshells one, mm. and they're just it's like the art from the comics on the outside of the box. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Never heard yeah, of like that. Yeah. That's cool. So I got and, one of those for my baseball movies. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that the Donnie voice? Hey, I'm, I'm 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 Corbin Donnie. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Corbin Dallas. Wow, you know. <laughs> About, yeah, this is it. this is pretty cool. I actually got her the very first um, Umbrella Academy, which was a Ooh. free comic book day comic in 2007. Oh, I, I, I had no I idea, but I that. saw it. Oh, in, it was cool. just in one of their cases, and not free so, anymore. So we grabbed that. Um, no, not free anymore, unfortunately. Oh. One of the very few comics that, that's a free comic book that ends up being worth anything, though, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I got her the Zantana number eleven. Uh, sorry, Zatanna number 11. It's an Adam Hughes variant. Adam Hughes is one of our favorite artists, so that's why we grabbed that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Buffer, Buff, Buffy the Vampire Slayer has a new series, um, so we grabbed her the number one of that. Uh, Batgirl is one that we uh, subscribe to, so we get the variants of every Batgirl that comes out. Cool. Uh, so they're on 31, and this time it's a Stanley Lau variant, and it was an excellent-looking comic book, but they've been doing Middleton every month, so we were a little disappointed because Middleton has been just absolutely ripping, like the best covers I've ever seen. So I was a little disappointed it wasn't him. Mm. Um, and then we got the current Catwoman, number seven, with the Ben Oliver variant, and the art on the f- cover is just amazing. Um, 
We also got her a Captain. This, these are the more of the highlights. Uh, we we got her a Captain Marvel uh, World of Reading activity book. This is something that I got one is, of those for myself. They're so good for the kids. <laughs> so I'm sure you're enjoying it. Um, <laughs> it's it's got yeah, stickers it in it, and there's some activities in it. But mostly, it's got a really simplified story and some great artwork that you can read before bed. Um, and the same th- same with the little golden books. Now they're doing comic book characters and Star Wars. So we got her the uh, Little Jedi Golden Book, or I Am a Little Jedi. Uh, and she already obsessed with it. We've had it for like, a, you know, just this week. And she wants to read it every single night, like four times. Um, and then since uh, we're on the subject with uh, free, free Comic Book Day and Drawn to Comics, we're going to be there. Um, it's a May 4th, correct? That's what I said last time. May the 4th. 4th May the 4th you. be with you. So we're going to take Donnie day, yeah. and anybody else that wants to go. Like all of us can go. And I think Frank's going to try to stop by. Um, but we're going to spend that at Drawn to Comics in the Velma Teague Library and just hang out with you guys and really just mix it up. We're going to give away a bunch of stuff and just have fun. We'll do videos for Facebook and all that too. Dope. Cool. And that's it. All right. Yeah. And we got uh, this week's poll yeah, that you're going to be putting up. Yeah. The new poll. Um, this is tied into Ari as well. Tied into Ari as well. Yeah. So it's going down. I did a video a while, like right when I started coming. Hold here, on. I'm going to Ivan Drago. I must. I will crush you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can see the videos right now on, on Facebook. Frank did his impression finally. So you can. Mine's kind of an impression of her impression, <laughs> which makes it better. <laughs> it terrified me when I first watched it. <laughs> yeah. so that's, go, what I, that's what I go for that. with my comedy. Look, go to the Facebook page and her. watch Frank's version of she's Rocket so, Raccoon. She's so cute. And I'm, I got to talk to you about your way of saying raccoon to raccoon you don't like that <laughs> i just i don't know is that eerie pennsylvania maybe is that, is maybe that, that is an eerie thing i don't know uh I'm, raccoon I, raccoon i just say raccoon raccoon um all right just say trash panda trash yeah. panda <laughs> that's 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 what we're calling this poll is the clash of the trash pandas so as it's going to go up on sunday take a look clash go. of the trash pandas nice yeah. does trash it or call him panda rabbit Rab- <laughs> that's true. Come with me, rabbit. Come with me, rabbit. <laughs> yes, I actually like that. I want, that makes you wonder what kind of rabbits they have um, on Asgard. That one. We'll find out in Endgame. <laughs> I, I don't want to make it uncomfortable for anybody, but if you don't vote for Ari, there's going to be Let a problem. Let me do one better. <laughs> Why is Gamora? <laughs> All right. The baseball one? <laughs> 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 You're an, every every time every time every, every show time. there's something special that comes out of you. I love it. That's <laughs> usable. All right, so uh, check out that poll at Comic Playground um, on Facebook at P- Comic Playground. Check us out. Um, we should also have some info on that on at uh, Comic Playground on Instagram as well and uh, and Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Corbin's manning the out. Twitter. I'm gonna, we're going to get some traction there. It's going to get some people to follow first, and I'm going to put some stuff out. Just kidding, but come on, follow us there, too. At well, Comic Playground on everything. Once again, I will be uh, visiting the Fireside crew this week on their podcast, uh, and some of our other members uh, you guys will be following uh, eventually, I believe. Uh, they're coming out to uh, see the show that I'm doing at Parks Casino there. And uh, we'll be back next week. I'm not sure what we're going to talk about yet, but Captain Marvel's probably on the list. Pretty much. So get back to it. Or uh, season two of the Umbrella Academy. I might have a really good segment next week. What? Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? what? Let's tease that. Yeah. The, your idea. The, uh, let's yeah. not, but uh, Zach and I had talked about it, and uh, he, said he was at an airport, and I couldn't hear a word he was saying, <laughs> but it sounded like a great segment. Yeah, uh, the, uh, the it was uh, Delta flight five four six is taking off. No, it was segment. Delta is five. <laughs> <laughs> Just brutal. All right, so uh, that's it. We'll see you guys all next week. Thanks.